it's all relative. The weight on the bar is all relative to your body weight. This phase is relative strength. This is probably one of my favorites in the last 30 years is how strong you are pound for pound. So when it comes to sports, how strong you are compared to other athletes pound for pound. I'm gonna give you five things about relative strength that will take you to the top of the class. Uh, number one, when it comes to relative strength, the time under tension is approximately 20 seconds to eccentric or concentric failure. So in the first progressions, we're gonna manipulate the temples, but basically that weight should be pretty darn hard for 20 seconds. So it takes a while to get enough mass and conditioning to get to this phase. So congrats if you're here. Uh, so relative strength, number one, pound pound strength. Number two, it is 20 seconds time under tension. Number three is you will require more rest. So coming out of other phases where you did work density and lactic training, you would have virtually no rest. Now you intentionally will have rest. So if you're losing strength set by set, the first thing you'll look at is how much rest. You're gonna take anywhere from three to five minutes of rest. So this is a unique situation where the workouts are a little bit longer because you're simply resting. Number four, if you have a 10% loss of strength, you stop. It's too risky because the weights are too heavy. Or look at your rest intervals. If you have a high training age and you're a big, big guy, maybe your rest wasn't enough, you lost 10%. So look at your rest first and see if that's the issue. But if you lose 10% strength, you do want to stop the exercise. Or in hypertrophy phasing, is 20% loss. Um, number five, all things being equal, the one that matters the most is the stronger athlete will always win. So you've got two boxers and they are great at what they do. Perfect technique. The stronger boxer wins. The stronger wrestler wins. The stronger javelin thrower usually will win. So this is why strength coaches are so needed is because they are experts at getting people stronger pound for pound. Let's get to it. Jimmy Jack.